Oh, by the way, apologies for that other thing a couple of weeks ago, but we'll go past that. Now, so far this year, there have been a heap of names, and we're going to mention them all a little later on in the show, that have come out of Melbourne like yourselves, sort of new names to the public, but you're all just all of a sudden coming to the fore. Is the Melbourne scene really good on a live situation, or what's what's the story? Why is this happening this year? Well, Melbourne's always had the best bands, Donny. We, like th- we like to think they have the best bands. Um, uh, yeah, it's reasonably good down there at the a few venues that are closing down uh-huh. for live music. Yeah, I was under pretty. the impression that it was all discos. And stuff. Well, there's a lot of nightclubs down there right. at the moment, so it makes it a little bit harder for live acts. This is amazing that so many are coming to the floor. A lot of nightclubs are getting bands in as well. Like, oh, right. You know, like so places like Inflation having a night a week when they have bands and chases. So and the live scene yeah. is expanding. In one sense, yeah. As such. In your bio, you list Screaming Jay Hawkins as an influence. Have you met him? Did you meet him when he was out? I nearly met him. Yeah? I nearly met him. No, I uh, went and saw some, sh- some of his shows when he was out right. here. I thought it was fantastic. Who are some of the other influences on mm. in this band? Oh, a lot of uh, R&B, Motown, uh, believe it or not. A little bit of country. With, with Country? Because mm. with the name Cattle Truck, I mean, it, it lends it to, it's got a country connotation. I guess the people yeah, well, we not were, knowing would think... Mm. That was the name that we gave it three years ago, and mm-hmm. uh, since then we've developed quite a bit, and the name stayed the same. So were you initially a little country flavour, more country yeah, flavour than you? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh-huh. A, lot of, a lot of cover versions. And hence the name Cattle Truck. Mm. Um, the people in the band, where did they all come from? Uh, like, these new bands? Is this a new band for these people, or are you all... It's most, mostly exactly it's our course. first our first band, right. really. yeah. Mm. Um, everybody came from <laughs> all different sort of walks of life and uh-huh. um, garage, previous occupations. Various garage bands and stuff. Because yeah. it was a weird way that you met the band, wasn't there? Yeah, well, the, in the bio it says that I was hitchhiking to right. Sydney. He was, um, in fact, hitchhiking. What's the truth? Well, that's yeah. a, it employs a little poetic license, but uh, <laughs> it basically is true. Yeah, I was, just, I was hitchhiking one night in Melbourne and I was picked up by the, the then drummer of the band. Yeah. So had you had musical experience I, before? Not in the sort of rock and roll in this but there's another area yeah um, I'm the trumpet player and um, I did sort of plays and stuff at university I was a student right yeah and this current single not your first that's our second single actually done well, when can we expect an album uh, pretty soon probably l- probably June the way things are going right. we've basically finished it we've just got to polish up polish it up a little bit and then bang out it comes well there we go Lloyd Cole and the commotions you did some supports with them yeah well he How actually that about? I hear he heard an early demo tape of ours and uh, we heard a whole lot of Australian bands and uh, it was his choice to give them the tour or whatever and he liked he liked our songs actually and said give these guys the tour and we said Good sure and What's you're good? about to do some with Jason and the Scorchers, that's correct? Yeah, I think we've got a couple of dates with them. I think in Melbourne, actually. Pretty hot band, that. So yeah, it could be a good double. Great. And David Courtney, very quickly, because I'm getting a wine. David Courtney, the producer, what's his background, the guy that produced this? Um, he's got a pedigree as long as you can Yeah, bench, you know, He's done just Leo just Sayer oh. and Roger Daltrey and worked with Paul McCartney. Good to get him to work oh, with, I would great. say. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's great to work with. Yeah, fantastic. Can okay, we thank you for coming on. Tonight you're at the venue at DY. Good people at the venue, too. So, Sydney viewers, you want to go along and see... Truck, that's where you've got to be. This is Top 40 Brisbane, Top 50 Melbourne. As we leave Peter and Paul, leave me, Cattle Truck. Please thank them for being in here. It's so early on a Saturday morning.